YouTube, this is Buckfaster Castle number 35. Um, as you can see, it's a bit, um, it's a bit left handed. Uh, I did do a left handed one before, I think, I've got a feeling I ended up making it a right handed one because nobody bought it. And maybe it was a silly idea buying it, uh, building it, but hey, I've done it. So this was a Jim Deacon one, um, but a bit higher spec than the other one, it's got shorter um, Clausen type tuners. Uh, really nice neck wood on it, really, actually a really nice guitar, I pity it's left handed. Um, and uh, it's going to sound horrendous. This video is going to be like two minutes long because I mean, all I can really do is play guitar like somebody who's never played a guitar before because it's left handed. I do kind of know what the chords are, but I mean. Ah! The volume control's going right, mate. Yeah, so maybe, maybe just that, sorry, that's the first pedal on. I can't even, can I even, no, that's a C, so. C, 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 this could be a C. No chance of doing an F. Uh, a minor would be uh, ho -ho, that. Uh, that's yeah, totally impossible. Yeah, so this one has the Coil Adder 20. If you want to see what Coil Adder 20 does, um, have a look at Bucky Caster number 34. On the list and I'll show you what it actually does. It does do it. I can tell it's really annoying not having the dots or the fingerboards. That's just like the smallest. It's making it even harder to play left-handed. Yeah, so what it does is this is the extra coil. Um when you've got this fully clockwise, just got a strap, as you expect. Uh pull it up one, rotate this so that this is a four-way rotary switch. My master <laughs> Everything's so wrong! <laughs> master volume, master tone, four-way rotary switch, five-way lever, that's all the controls. The rotary switch, when you've got it fully clockwise, it's a strat. When you roll it back one notch, you get hum cancelling, which puts this extra pickup in, and it puts it in, in parallel, so you get less noise, um, or no noise, it's noiseless basically. It's basically like a noiseless pickup or a stacked pickup, I suppose, sort of. Maybe a wee variation, but not much. Uh, the next one round gives you this wired in as a humbucker, which gives you five humbucker sounds, and then the last one it reverses this one and puts it in as a humbucker, so you get five reverse phase humbucker sounds, five strat, five hum cancelling, five humbucking, five phase and humbucking, um, which is certainly a really thin sounds, which I just can't demo on this guitar. <laughs> it's like, there's, no, there's no point in me even trying to play it. It's, everything's just alien. I mean, I can physically play the notes. I just, I, I'm so used to just naturally going to places. So, so basically, if anyone ever says, "I do you want to dip," I want a shot my left-handed guitar. We're having a jam. I could probably get away with it on a bass, um, just by just playing the E string. Um, but on a guitar, it's just it's, it's impossible. I just can't even even think about how the when you power chord would be that, would it? Was it that way round? That way round. Oh, that's okay. So we've got power chords. But obviously, I've got to stop. so that it had its own video of this guitar. Um, yes, so that this is actually quite a, a high quality guitar. It did make a bit of a mess of the paint on the back. This is a bit rubbishy. Um, it's the back though. The back, the front looks good. Um, um, yeah. So, if this might be up for sale as a right-handed guitar conversion in a month's time if nobody wants this. Um, yes, so. Buckfaster Caster 35. I've got another, I've actually got a couple of Bucky ones kind of on the way as well. 
which are kind of, these are kind of leapfrogged because these, these two didn't need that much work. Um, just so you close a bit of this, you can see how, how similar and how reverse they are. Obviously, when, you, when you've got these two sitting next to each other, you start thinking, oh, a double neck. Quite interesting. There was, I did have a thought of, um, I thought about putting the left handed neck on the right handed guitar and the right handed neck on the left handed guitar, but I decided not to because. Basically, one of the reasons is that the annoyance of the they also the thing was they, they both played really well when I got them so it was like having to put another neck on would really involve work is the truth and also not having dots on the top of the neck is just I can't play a guitar that doesn't have dots on, on the top I don't need I don't need these I can't see them but I need them I need them here otherwise it's, I'm alright playing like it well <laughs> not <laughs> I'm alright playing not open chords but as soon as you start coming up here it's like where's the twelfth Where's the ninth? It's like, no idea. I always invariably one fret out whenever you, whenever I do anything. So, left-handed Bucky Caster. More Bucky, Bucky Casters to come. The last few I've actually sold to uh, this one. I might actually. This might be going to Black's Creek uh, shop. I'm not sure. I don't know why I got a, a lefty one. Um, I'll see what he says. Rock on. No idea when this is coming out. I might just put this out on a day when I run out of time or can't be bothered doing a video. So even though it's today, it's done in the same the same day. I've literally just five minutes ago done a video for this one. Um, those are just arm prints. It's very very shiny. <laughs> they do polish up okay though. Just, it just, it's just. I, I, I can't I can't I can't demonstrate it. It sounds terrible. It's actually quite infuriating. Because the thing is, I can feel that it's actually quite nice, and also I quite like an upside down strat. I did an amazing conversion, if I do say so myself, on a guy from a guy in um, a lovely guy in Sterling before he had a left-handed. I think it was a, a Mexican strat, something like that, and he bought stuff and he wanted me to convert it to left-handed. But what I did was, he gave me a blank scratch plate, and I put the pickups in didn't put any of these knobs in and instead put them down here I put roars in did I put roars in? can't remember exactly what I did but it was totally over the moon with it basically because it does I mean Hendrix can obviously do it it's not actually that bad in a strap they do get in the way a little bit um, the knobs you know, because they're on the top yeah, ideally you'd want them down here so if I put the input jack on the back I think and I think there was a roller two rollers and a five way switch something like that I can't remember exactly what it was I did I think there was maybe a five-way switch there. I, I'm going to watch that video again myself. That worked quite well. I think that's actually, to be honest, that's actually I think where the scratch plate came from. I think the one that came on this, the one that was on this was black. And I had this white left-handed one I've had for a year or two years because what are you going to do with it? Um, yeah, so I think, I think this, would, this and I figured if you're going to paint a scratch plate black, it takes a lot more coats of yellow to paint it yellow from black than it does painted white, so that's why it's got a white scratch plate. So I don't think the scratch plate's original to this guitar. <laughs> Rock on, and I'm going to have to try sort out this interference lines things. I think the, I did a political broadcast, so maybe the maybe the government are out to get me because I said that conservatives are bad. Oh. Rock on. <laughs> 